You killed Whistleblower, Bratan. I want chance to bring our bell tower. Burke killed her. I just prevented him from committing mass murder on top of it. And what's to stop him trying again, Pridulok? Now, you need to take him out. Shut off the lockdown using the touch screen in the room above you. Then return to the base. No doubt, that god nuke will be expecting you. Subject not Corporal Tyler? Or should I say Adam Jensen? That's right. I know who you are now. Katna wasn't quite as good at hiding her tracks as she thought she was. Too bad her faith in you was misguided. Do you really think saving the lives of a few worthless civilians could accomplish anything? Do you honestly believe their lives have any relevance at all? Enjoy your pointless victory, Jensen, because without Dr. Kavanaugh's testimony, no one will move against this station. And as we both know now, her contract has been terminated. The Reed woman, this Megan you've been searching for, she's not here. And the only thing standing between you and the ship that could take you to her is me. I underestimated you back on the ship. I won't be doing it again. Bratan. Quinn? I'm afraid our good friend Quinn met with an unfortunate uh, incident during all the commotion and is no longer with us. Your voice. It was you this whole time. Who are you? For the moment, I'm between identities. I apologize for the duplicity, but it was a necessary precaution. You had to be kept in the dark. And Keitner? Did she know? Commander Keitner's perception was much like yours. Shrouded. She saw what she needed to see, and was told what she needed to hear in order for me to complete the mission. So we were both pawns. Except she's dead and I'm not. So where does that leave me in your grand design? We are all pawns in someone else's grand design, Mr. Jensen. But that doesn't make Natanya's death any less tragic. A shame you chose not to honor her sacrifice by aligning yourself with us. I couldn't let hundreds of innocent people die just to save one woman. I understand that. But allow me to be blunt. The loss of Dr. Kavanaugh and her knowledge is a blow to humanity greater than the suffering of any group of individuals, innocent or not. Kavanaugh knew what she was getting herself into. She knew the risks. Those people in the prison, they never had a choice. Saving them was the least I could do. A sentiment not entirely lost on me, I assure you. Regardless, although I suppose I should applaud your compassion, I fear it may be for naught. Bell Tower have more than just hired guns at their disposal. And you have left us on uncertain ground. We mustn't stay here much longer, Mr. Jensen, if we hope to get you away from this base. All right. Where's Megan? I don't know for certain. But what I do know is that earlier today, Burke issued orders to have a large group of detainees transferred off this base. Supposedly, they will be assisting at another black site facility. Another one? How many of these sites are there? If we knew that, I wouldn't have gone to all this effort to expose this one, Bratan. Right. You sure Megan is at this other facility? Nothing is ever certain in life, Mr. Jensen. But it is the best chance you have. Unfortunately, the cargo ship carrying the prisoners has already set sail. But I took the liberty to send out an urgent dispatch in Burke's name, ordering the ship's captain to hold position until one more detainee could be flown on board. In stasis. A helicopter is en route to pick you up. Wait a second. You want me to get inside another stasis pod? Last time I got in one of those things, it didn't go so well. I know it's far from ideal, but frankly, your options are quite limited. Although, I suppose you could try swimming there. Better be the right fucking boat this time. Because I don't feel like coming back here anytime soon. Don't worry, Ned. It'll be grand. Besides, I thought you Americans liked riding off into the sunset. It's done. Exactly as you instructed. And yet you sound disappointed. You think we should have handled this differently? I think we had a valuable asset in our hands. And we're letting him slip away. He could have been very useful in the coming storm. A hand does not need to be clenched tightly to maintain its hold on someone. Jensen carries too much baggage right now. His obsession with Reed only serves to distract him. We could have told him the truth. He must discover it by himself. 
And when he does, if you have followed my instructions precisely, we will know how to find him. Assuming he lives that long. <laughs>